Hello students, I am Subham from Toy Tutorials. We are doing the chapter 2 biological question. Till now, we have seen all the kingdoms, basically kingdom Monera, kingdom Protista, kingdom Fungi. These are the main kingdoms discussed in this chapter. Now the rest things remaining, we are going to discuss today. Those are the final things, last things from this chapter. Basically, kingdom plantae, kingdom animalia, and viruses, viroids, prions, and lichens. So, let's get started with the video. Kingdom plantae, and kingdom animalia, we are going to discuss separately in the further chapters. Those are the details on these kingdoms. Okay. In this chapter, we are just seeing an overview, or we can say introduction part. Right, so this is not a fully dependent on plantae. Kingdom plantae it discussed in the chapter third, and kingdom animalia it discussed in the chapter four. So we know that in the kingdom plantae or eukaryotic chlorophyll. Okay, chlorophyll is a pigment. Right, so these organisms which contain the chlorophyll and are eukaryotes are coming in the kingdom plantae. Basically, what we called as plants right we call it as plants few members are partially heterotropic what is partially heterotropic partially means half half they are heterotropic such as few members mostly these are autotropic right autotropic they can prepare their own food right Bladder wort and Venus flytrap are examples of insectivorous plants. Insectivorous plants means what? Those plants which can capture the insects, okay, and digest it, right? As well as parasites, okay, they are known as insectivorous plants. And examples of insectivorous plants are Venus flytrap and bladder wort, okay, are examples of insectivorous plant and Fuscuta. Is the example of a parasite, right? Then plant cells have an eukaryotic structure. Which structure? Eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplast. Okay, chloroplast is prominent, and cell wall mainly made of cellulose, right? So cellulose is the present in the cell wall. Okay, means cell wall is made up of cellulose. Cellulose is a nothing but a sugar, basically a carbohydrate. Then what are included in the plantae? So this kingdom plantae include algae, bryophytes, eridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. Okay, all these we are discussing in the next chapter. Life cycle of a plant have distinct two phases. Okay, see two phases are there. First is the diploid sporozoite. Sporophytic phase, diploid, sporophytic, and second is the haploid, gametophytic. Okay, diploid is sporophytic, means four forming. Sporophytic means four forming, and haploid is gametophyte. Gametophyte means gametes forming that alternate with each other. Okay, alternate with the next important point: length of haploid and diploid phases, and whether these phases are free living. Or dependent on the others means whether they live independent okay they are capable to live independent or we can say free living or they are dependent on other other organisms so this vary okay this is highly varying among different groups in plants so this phenomenon okay this phenomenon in this concept which is alternation of generation dependent on organisms or they are free living okay we saw in the previous point that they alternate with each other Two phases alternate with each other, whether they are free living or dependent on others. So this phenomenon is called alternation of generation. Very important terms. Okay, so these terms are very important. We have to remember. See, these are the examples basically. This is a platter board. Okay, and this is a Venus flytrap.
this is a Q square. Right? So these are the ladder boat and Venus fly trap are trapping an insect. We can see here. Insect has come inside. Okay. I highly recommend uh, you to watch the videos. This thing. Venus fly trap and bladder boat. Just search the name in on the YouTube and you will find a variety of videos. How the insects are taken out, how how these insects are digested. Okay. So this is very interesting to watch actually. These are the structures where insects are inserted. And this is a cuscota, this is just a parasite. Okay, see this appear yellowish, right? Yellowish in color, these are not green. So these are not having chloroph chlorophyll pigment. Okay, cuscota. These are not having a pigment, chlorophyll pigment. So this is so uh, it is not uh, appearing green in color, right? And thus it is called parasite because it is a rapidly growing. Now let's see some things on kingdom animalia, not a brief. Okay, we know all the animals are there in the kingdom animalia. So these are heterotrophic basically, heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms, right? That are multicellular and their cell lacks cell wall. The cell wall is not present. Lack cell wall. Very important terms, very important points. And they directly or indirectly depend on plants for okay taking example of us we eat veg as well as non veg right so what we do we don't eat as it is we make it spicy basically right after boiling or we add spices then only we can eat it so like this only uh, then there are some animals uh, those live in forest those eat the plants directly so this is known as directly or indirectly what is directly or indirectly depend on plants for food okay animals eat as it is we make it we see whether it is good or bad we see uh, that it is well cooked right properly cooked then only we eat. we add spices we make it delicious basically right then only we can eat it they digest their food in an internal cavity right internal cavity animals digest their food store food thing store food as glycogen and fat right the so food storage is there digestion take place in the stomach so that is internal cavity basically inside the body and then after the digestion the uh, large food molecules are break, broken down into smaller food particles right so small food particles means what basically proteins carbohydrates sugars are produced and these sugars only are termed as glycogen in one form okay basically glucose is stored as glycogen Glucose is a sugar. The mode of nutrition is holozoic. Holozoic means by ingestion of food. Ingestion of food means eating. Right? They follow a definite growth pattern and grow into adults that have a definite shape and size. Right? Grow into adults. Growth take place into a complete we can say organized structure is formed basically then higher forms so elaborate sensory and neuromotor mechanism sensory means we can sense right we can feel the surroundings we can talk okay we can respond so all this is because of the sensory and neuromotor mechanism suppose animal is coming Versus, we will run away that is also one type of sensory or neuromotor mechanism right most of them are capable of locomotion locomotion what is locomotion locomotion is movement movement right then sexual reproduction is by copulation of male and female followed by embryological development okay means what physical contact between 
male and female take place and then there is a formation of zygote which will go into development that is known as embryological development right and again same it is written that various phylas of this similar kingdom we will be discussing in the chapter 4 right now let's see some other organism basically viruses viroids prions and lichens okay now in this kingdom, five kingdom classification of the taker, there is no mention of lichens. Uh, lichens were not mentioned, as well as these viruses, viroids, prions, these were not mentioned in the five kingdom. Basically, these are a cellular organ organism. A cellular. Okay, see. Means what? A cellular means what? They are not present in cell. They have their unique structures, basically. They have their unique structures. We can see that they require some cell for their growth or multiplication. Okay, otherwise they are dead. Okay. Cannot say they are completely dead. They are having their own genome. Genome means DNA, proteins. They are having their structures. So this is a structure. See, they are having their head. Okay, this is a virus structure. Tail is there. Tail consists of this polar sheath and this base plate, and these are tails, long tail fibers. Okay, basically this is a bacteriophage. Bacteriophage. Bacteriophage means viruses that infect bacteria. Okay, viruses that infect bacteria. Now, all of us have suffered from this common cold, right? Common cold or flu, basically. Fever and sneezing cough take place once in a year or twice, right? Or we can say seasonal changes in the environment, climatic changes. We get ill, and doctor tells us, yes, this is a viral infection. Okay, it will go away. Take the medicine. Right. So, what is this viral infection? Basically, this is due to viruses. Okay, this is due to viruses. So, know what effects viruses can have on us, even if we do not associate with it with the surrounding condition. Means what? We know what viruses can cause by this example: common cold, common flu. We are aware. Okay. okay. Viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not considered truly living see not considered truly living if we understand living as those organisms that have a cell structure means what if we see a criteria of living a living organism should have a cell structure basically a cell viruses are not having a cell so they can be said as they are not truly living okay so these viruses the viruses are non cellular organism okay non cellular organisms that are characterized by having an inert crystalline structure okay they are having a unique structure basically outside the living cell right once they infect the cell they take over machinery of the host okay I mean suppose everyone are familiar with the covid 19 now coronavirus right what it did basically it takes over host host means what humans if virus is infecting humans humans are the host if virus is infecting bacteria bacteria are the host right so host the so organism in which virus is multiplying multiplying so what it takes it is not having its own cell it is not having its own cell so it takes our cell and basically our machinery of making protein making dna right so it is taking our machinery take over the machinery of host cell to replicate themselves and killing the host since the viruses use our body to its multiplication and basically side by side killing us okay causing us disease basically so 
वायरसेस आर लिविंग और नॉन लिविंग देन वॉट वी कैन से लेट सी वायरस मीन्स वेनोम वेनो मीन्स पॉइजनियस फ्लूड ओके लेट्स सी हाउ दिस वॉट डिस्कवर वायरसेस टीमी थ्री इवन उसका है नाइनटीन एटी नाइन्टी टू रेकग्नाइज सर्टन माइक्रोब्स एज पॉजल ऑर्गेनिजम ऑफ द मोसैक डिजीज ऑफ टोबैको ओके मोसैक डिजीज ऑफ टोबैको दीज वर फाउंड टू बी स्मॉलर देन बैक्टीरिया बिकॉज दे पास थ्रू बैक्टीरिया फ्रू फिल्टर्स इज वॉट सपोज ड्रॉयर दिस इज द फिल्टर्स ओके यूज बाय दिस दिमित्री इवन उसका है फॉर रिसर्च पर्पज राइट टू फाइन सो दिस आर हैविंग फोर्स so what can be seen this is a bacteria group bacteria proof filters means what bacteria is not able to pass bacteria is not able to pass so bacteria will not pass but these microbes which are smaller than the bacteria you know Why I am telling you this? Bacteria, these viruses are smaller than the bacteria, so they pass from this filter. Okay, okay. Bacteria did not pass, but viruses passed. So thus, it was detected as virus, right? So thus, virus as well find out. Uh, like there are some microorganisms which are even smaller than bacteria. and these were viruses causing the mosaic disease in tobacco right so these are smaller than bacteria smaller than bacteria okay then the next thing m w bijani in 1898 what he did demonstrated that extract of the infected plant okay the infected plant might be tobacco mosaic he took the extract of the infected plant of tobacco and then he that plant that extract cause infection in healthy plants too the infected plant cause the infection in healthy plants too and name the new pathogen as viruses or virus and call the fluid what he called the fluid contagium ium fluidium infectious living fluid okay then w m stanley in 1935 third scientist showed that viruses could be crystallized okay crystallized and crystals contain largely of protein so these viruses are made up of proteins basically right proteins are largely They are inert outside. They are specific host cell. Viruses are obligate parasites. Means what? Depending on the condition they live. Okay, they are parasites, but they require a proper environment for their multiplication. They require a cell basically. It is absent, right? So thus obligate. In addition to proteins, what these viruses contain? viruses also contain genetic material that could be rna or dna okay or dna not both okay not both either rna or dna so no virus contain both rna and dna a virus is a nucleoprotein c the genetic material is infectious the genetic material is highly infectious right in general viruses that infect plants have single stranded i very important infect plants viruses that infect animals have either single or double stranded rna or double stranded dna can also be present bacterial viruses are called bacteriophages viruses that infect bacteria right bacteriophages usually double stranded dna structure right double stranded dna 
द प्रोटीन कॉल क्या है कॉल्ड कैप्सिड प्रोटीन कॉल्ड इज कॉल्ड कैप्सिड मेड अप ऑफ स्मॉल यूनिट कॉल्ड कैप्सोमेयर्स द प्रोटीन बेसिकली प्रोटेक्ट्स द न्यूक्लिक एसिड दिस इज फॉर प्रोटेक्शन दिस कैप्सोमेयर्स आर अरेंज्ड इन हेलिकल और पॉलीहेड्रल ज्योमेट्रिक फॉर्म्स राइट अरेंज इन हेलिक और पॉलीहेड्रल ज्योमेट्रिक फॉर्म्स and these are the examples of that viral diseases mumps smallpox herpes and influenza aids in humans acquired immunodeficiency syndrome aids full form this is in humans this is also caused by a virus virus known as hiv right in plants symptoms can be what are the symptoms in plants mosaic formation leaf rolling curling yellowing and green clearing so warping as well as plantar growth okay so we saw your picture of bacteria phage so this head head is basically made up of capsid okay capsomeres we can see here this is a we saw it forms in a geometric structure so this is a geometric structure see this is a tobacco mosaic virus tobacco mosaic virus also known as tmv okay tmv see this is a capsid arrangement Okay, and this is a RNA component like this. So this is capsimer, uh, capsid made from capsomeres. Capso. Now let's see about viroids. What is difference between viroids and viruses? These are not having capsids. basically protein coat is absent there is a protein coat we saw in viruses like this in their protein coat there is a genetic material but here genetic material is free around okay no protein coat that is only the thing here see in 1971 co diner discovered a new infectious agent okay this infectious agent was smaller than the viruses see viruses more smaller more smaller than viruses and cause potato spindle tuber disease okay so this is the example you have to remember the examples right it was to be of free rna see free rna it lack protein coat and that is found in viruses is named the microbas viroid the rna of a viroid was of low molecular weight right then the next thing is prions what is this prions in modern medicine certain infectious neurological diseases were found to be transmitted by an agent consisting of abnormally folded proteins okay means the proteins see proteins means what so the protein so proteins are basically building blocks of amino acids right from the amino acids linked together then they form proteins but proteins are not like this linear okay they are folded like this. they are folded so when they are abnormally folded see abnormally folded and so what folded but not normally then these diseases were caused okay by the abnormally folded protein the agent an agent consist so those agent were consisting of abnormally folded protein and that agent was called as prions okay which was smaller sorry similar in size okay similar in size to viruses the most notable diseases caused by the prions have 
आर ओवाइन कौन सी फॉर्म एंसेलोपैथी ओके यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर द नेम्स एज एग्जांपल ओवाइन कौन सी फॉर्म सिफेलोपैथी बीएसई कॉमनली कॉल्ड मैड काउ डिजीज इन कैटर ओके दिस इज सीन इन कैटर एंड इट्स एनालॉगस वेरिएंट एनालॉगस मींस सिमिलर ओके सिमिलर वेरिएंट्स सी आर जेकॉब डिजीज ओके सी टी जी डे इन ह्यूमंस सो दिस इज इन ह्यूमंस एंड दिस इज इन कैटर right so this is about prions now the next thing is lichens 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 are what symbiotic association symbiotic means both suppose this is organism a this is organism b they will live together and both these are benefit from their association to each other both have benefits okay no harm is caused or no disease is caused basically so this is called mutually useful association okay mutually useful means both the organisms are benefited by this association so this is known as symbiotic so this is in between algae and fungi algal component is known as phycobiont remember this very important algal component is known as phycobiont fungal component as mycobiont which are autotrophic and heterotrophic respectively so this will be autotrophic phycobiont is autotrophic and mycobiont is heterotrophic algae prepare food for fungi see how they are helping each other see algae prepare food for fungi because these are autotrophic fungi provide shelter means what place to live as well as absorb mineral nutrients in water for its partner right so algae is preparing food and fungi is giving shelter and absorb mineral nutrients okay absorption means basically digestion part the fungi is doing as well as it is providing the water for its partner okay absorbing basically absorbing water and nutrients so close is the association that if one saw a lichen in nature one would never imagine that they had two different organisms with them okay means we cannot say like that if this is having a two organism we cannot imagine that there are two different organisms living inside it right so lichens are very good pollution indicators so this is a very important point lichens are very good pollution indicators they do not grow in polluted areas okay in the polluted areas in the highly polluted areas lichens are not grown so this was all about chapter 2 we have completed the chapter right all the things now we will start start with the chapter third basically from the next lecture and uh, it is all about plant kingdom kingdom planting so thank you if you find this video helpful do let us know in the comment section as well as share this video with your friends subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos